Hello and welcome to Oil for the Journey. Today is Saturday, April 1st, 2003. No, we're not here to play jokes on you. (laughs) We are here to pray with and for you. I think it's amazing and so wonderful how God allows us to communicate with him. And one of those ways is obviously through prayer. And so we just want to take this time um, to just pray over this month, right, April, um, as we commit ourselves to engage God, to be intentional about connecting with him through reading his word through prayer, through fellowship with other believers, right? But we all start somewhere. So we just want to take this time here and uh, we're going to use part of today's actual reading. So today's reading is taken from 1 Kings chapters 6 and 7. Remember, we follow the Bridges for Peace, Ignite the Truth Bible Reading Plan. You can find it at www dot ignite the truth dot com we're not going to read the entire passage like we do monday through friday um, but this is a good time to just really see how the lord helps us to pray through his word so today we're actually going to focus in on verses 12 and 13 of chapter 6 which reads concerning this temple you are building if you keep all my decrees and regulations and obey all my commands i will fulfill through you the promise i made to your father david i will live among the israelites and will never abandon my people israel so here in these two chapters we're learning how uh, solomon is now implementing Um, the actual building of the temple. His father, King David, wanted to build the temple, but God told him no because he had too much blood on his hands. So so what David did was to prepare, help Solomon prepare by providing all the materials that would be needed in order to build the temple. So now we're getting to the portion where Solomon is actually building the temple. So we like to, in terms of Uh, the first prayer point that we are going to put before the Lord is, um, you know, thanking him for allowing us um, for all the good works, right? All the works that we do, the things that we do to advance God's kingdom, or even just thanking him for the work he allows us to do that provides for us and our families, okay? And then God says, if you keep all my decrees and regulations and obey my commands, I will fulfill through you the promise I made to your father, David. So that promise for Solomon was that God told David that he would forever establish someone on the throne through his lineage, that someone from his family line would always sit on the throne. And of course, that has led us all the way to Jesus now, the Messiah, um, who is of the tribe of Judah and who is the ultimate king forever and ever. Amen. (laughs) And what's so exciting is now as, you know, believers in Christ Jesus, we are now entering into Holy Week, right? So we have Palm Sunday, and then the following Sunday will be Easter slash Resurrection Sunday. Woo! <laughs> but this is an amazing time, and I'm so thankful to God for allowing us to be here. So let us continue. So, you know, this is not to say as Gentile believers, right? Majority of us are Gentile believers. Um we know that our promise is not okay he's going to establish our lines forever right we don't have a kingdom per se to to sit over but this is a promise what this is the time for you to really think about what promise has god given you right that he said he will keep forever and ever of course it comes with the stipulation right of if you uh keep all my decrees and regulations and obey all my commands, right? And then sec third, um, the Lord promises that he will live among the Israelites and will never abandon his people Israel. Again, as Gentile believers, we know we are grafted into the family 
right? Um, because we believe in the Messiah, that he has come, that he died, and most of all, that he rose again and lives forever, forever, forever. <laughs> so let's go ahead and just take some time just to say thank you, thank you to the Lord and to pray. Father, we just thank you for this time um, that you have given us, Lord God, this sacred moment that we can come to you and pray, not necessarily with fancy words, but Lord, we come um, just putting our hearts before you, Lord, and we thank you uh, for allowing us to do the work that we do. We thank you that we in you we live and move and we have our being, Lord, that you strengthen us. We thank you, Lord, that unless you build a house or unless you build whatever it is we're working on, God, it won't last. It won't stand. And we are reminded that we can do nothing without you. So, Lord, I pray even now in this time, even in our scripture reading, our daily scripture readings, Lord, we need you. Father, we can't read without you. We can't breathe without you. And so, Lord, we thank you for just blessing each reader, each hearer, and especially the the doers of your word, Lord, that we would not just be readers and hearers, but that we are doing your word. We are living out your word. We are living epistles, living examples of your truth, your love, your justice, your peace, your hope. Lord God, your 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 forgiveness. <laughs> Lord, we are so grateful and so thankful that we've been able to experience your forgiveness. Lord, the thing that you um, died on the cross to give us, and then you rose again because you conquered death, opening the door and making eternity available to us, eternity with you. And so we are grateful for that, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that um, that we will continue to obey you because that is how we show our love for you. It's not necessarily about following the rules and line by line, precept by precept, and oh, I have to do this. And But, you know, we get to do it. We want to do it. You compel us by your love because you've shown us how much you love us. You said no greater love than a man would lay down his life for a friend. And you have called us friend because you have revealed yourself and your plans to us. And we're so grateful, Lord. I pray that we will show you Lord, how much we love you just by obeying you. Lord, it's an easy task because you want to protect us. You want to help us and provide us and keep us. And you do these things. And we're so grateful, Lord, because we can't live without you. And we thank you, Lord, that you promise us that you will never leave us nor forsake us. So I pray for each reader, each hearer, everyone who does, Lord, um, I pray, Lord, that we will continue to set aside time each day that we are compelled um, by our love for you to seek after you, your kingdom and your righteousness, and then all things will be added unto us. To read your word, to sit down, to say thank you, to praise you, Lord, to, to figure out how to praise you, what that looks like. There are no special methods, Lord, but I thank you that we... You call to us and we respond to you. So I pray, Lord, that you would help us, that we respond well in this month, Lord. I thank you for this month. It's like giving us our daily bread, Lord. So we thank you for our daily bread, which is your word. We thank you for the month of April. We thank you that you will do exceeding and abundantly far above all that we could ask or think according to your power that is at work in us. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, well, thank you so much for joining us in this time of prayer. I pray you are blessed and encouraged. If you have any questions or if you have personal prayer concerns, please feel free to reach out to us at email us at oilforthejourney at gmail.com. You can also find us and DM us on any one of our social media 
platforms, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We love you. We're praying for you. We're walking with you and fighting in this good fight of faith with you. God bless your day today. Shalom, shalom.